We'll throw the gearbox on there. And we're going to mark the maximum slide and the slots for the holes. So, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've done this marking and I've marked the slots where the holes will go. So, now I'm, what I'm going to do is, is drill out the slots. And then take the grinder and smooth them out. Well, there you go. There's the holes. You see the three extra holes there. That's where I messed it up the first time. But we got it all figured out. Now we got to put the gearbox into place. Just gotta put the nuts on the bottom of them and cinch them down. All right, so here it is mounted. So now that we got this done, we gotta work on the bumper so that we can mount the uh, auger drive assembly off the snowblower on the back. So, I guess what I'll start by doing is cleaning off the steel and prepping that to put on the tubing for the bumper. Alright, so it's time to do the bumper. So I went and bought some tube steel, one by one, big enough for our project when I get done reinforcing it. And I've decided that I'm going to use uh, this gearbox for the winch because it's rug more rugged than the um, auger drive for the snowblower. So I decided the, the box here is four inches. I want to have plenty of bite here so I'm going to go on to here a foot. So I need to cut one foot and four inches off of this twice. So there's one. So now we got to cut them, we got to weld them on. Put my gloves on.
Now we've got these attached. And I cut a piece of angle on the distance between the two. I'm going to weld that right on just like that. Now we'll do the other side. Here it is. Alright, so now we're going to start mocking up the actual drum of the winch. We've got the gearbox up here and kind of situated where I want it. What I gotta do is I gotta take this flat steel that this is sitting on, just to show you, and drill a three inch hole in it to fit where these bolts go. So here's an up close view of how things are supposed to be looking. Here's the gearbox sunk down. And underneath here, I had to go out and buy a five inch pulley. The pulleys that we had, or that I had, wouldn't fit. It just wouldn't work. Um, there are a couple of guys that advised me to go with a larger pulley. So there it is. I chose a 4 inch. Because that's a 4 inch. So there's a 1 to 1. So there's that guys. So I figured I'd show you a quick tip this week of how I align my bolt holes and find out where holes need to be drilled and all that fun stuff. So what I got here is a bracket for something, all right? And let's say I need to attach that to this, all right? So I need to drill some holes in it to make it line up. Well, I suppose I could just set this on here and trace the holes. But let's say this was big and odd shaped and you weren't able to get in there. Or you weren't able to do it that easy. A great trick. Get yourself a piece of cardboard just like this or a piece of paper. All right. You set it over it, take a ball peen hammer or a large rounded punch if you have that. You find that hole. So you find that hole and you hit the other side with the hammer. Now what that did, was that just made an impression of that hole. You flip your cardboard over, you tear that impression out, lay that impression right over the hole, hold it down, So there you go. You got an exact replica of those two bolt holes. All right, so now we got to make our bracket to hold our gearbox. So I don't have a hole saw this big, so what I'm going to have to use is a saber saw. So this ought to be interesting. So I got the dimensions here, I've traced it out, I got my line on my metal. Now I'm going to drill a hole so that I can start my saw blade.
Well, there it is. It ain't pretty, but it don't really have to be. What matters is this fits. It fits great. I'm, uh, I'm actually rather impressed with how well it fits. So, now I'll cut this off the right height and start putting it in place. Alright, so we got our bracket made and bolts in it. Now we got to mock it up where it goes. Alright, so it needs to go right here. Alright, but it needs to be square to the frame so that it lines up with the gearbox and, and square here so that when I put the drum on it, it'll fit there too. Okay, so now what I've fabricated is a guard for the box. So I'll set that up and tack that in there. 